Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be taking a look at Shop Plaza. This is a Shop Plaza review as well as taking a look at how to build an online store and e-commerce store with the brand new e-commerce platform Shop Plaza. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today as well as how to import dropshipping products. If you're interested in doing dropshipping with Shop Plaza, we're going to be taking a look at that today too. So First things first, thank you to Shop Plaza for sponsoring today's video. If you want to get signed up with Shop Plaza, it'll be that first link down in the description box below where you can go ahead and sign up for a seven day uh, trial. And that also comes with 15% off your first month. We're going to be taking a look at all the various pricing, the apps available, taking a look at the back end and seeing exactly how you can get set up with Shop Plaza, how easy it is, and how you can get set up with this brand new e-commerce platform. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into things. Now, first things first, we're just gonna be taking a look at the homepage. So like I said before, if you wanna get set up with Shop Plaza or follow along through this video, there'll be that first link down in the description box below. So taking a look at Shop Plaza, you can see here it is an e-commerce platform go big go online go global that is their mantra here so they have recently refreshed their branding so everything just looks super clean sleek and nice and simple it is such an improvement it is really nice and that's it's an e-commerce partner business builder there's really a lot that you can do with shop plaza as far as the different uh solutions that they have as far as if you're interested in drop shipping, which we're gonna be covering a bit more specifically in this video as well. Uh, and even if you don't wanna do drop shipping, there's a ton of other uh, options for e-commerce within Shop Plaza. It has a whole suite of different uh, e-commerce options depending on what you're trying to do for your business and selling products. So it's really pretty flexible in that regard. It is a full suite e-commerce platform that offers really anything that you may need. We're gonna be going over the more specific details and like I said as well, taking a look at the back end, how you can get started with your online store as well. Uh, sort of like a tutorial style. So we're gonna be getting into that later in this video. So stay tuned. And if you're enjoying things so far, be sure to smash that like button uh, as well. So taking a look here, obviously it is a one-stop e-commerce shop. As I mentioned, it's easy to build. Um, you can also you know build everything how you want they have various different themes as well so as you can see uh they have quite a bit of different themes to choose from uh nice simple designs that really match what most people are looking for for an e-commerce store or building an online uh, store or an e-commerce website so this is the builder for you obviously you choose your theme you can offer your product or service so like i said it's pretty flexible if you want to do drop shipping they do have that as well or if you just want to sell any other type of product you can do that within shop plaza as well so without further ado and they also have in enterprise level tools as well so these are all the different uh, options that they have they have data protection multiple languages so if you need to sell uh, within different regions or if you're marketing to d various regions then that's also uh, very helpful built in as well uh, they have support different marketing tools within if you're doing uh, TikTok, google meta or facebook or instagram email marketing uh, you no limits on the products multiple different types of currencies for various regions uh, drop shipping, like I mentioned a few times already, uh, Amazon uh, as well, store management. So if you have a team already for your business, for your e-commerce uh, store, then they also have the various staff accounts that you can do to set up in your dashboard. Uh, they have a lot of different payment services as well, uh, fraud analysis, shipping rates. So really they have all the different factors that you may be looking for in an e-commerce platform. Uh, you can find that within Shop Plaza. So you can open your store anywhere and yeah, that's their sales pitch here. So uh, tech your business to the next level, experience the hype. <laughs> so if you want to experience the hype, then you can sign up, like I said, affiliate link down in the description box below. Uh, so full disclosure there, it is sponsored. This is an ad, hashtag ad, right? Uh, sponsored. Uh, thank you to Shop Plaza once again. So that first link in the description there if you want to get set up with your seven-day trial and 15% off your first month. So diving into things, now let's take a look at the pricing because I know all you guys, you always just want to hop right to the pricing. How much does it cost? Is it gonna co what is this going to cost me, right? So Shop Plaza, of, of course, it depends on what level your business is at. So they do have various different pricing plans 
quite a few more uh, i would say even compared to other e-commerce platforms that i've mentioned on the channel before or been familiar with like their pricing with shop plaza is pretty comparable to competitors and i think it's pretty solid in general uh, so as you can see, they have their basic at 28 a month, advanced, premier, enterprise, pro. Uh, so you can see uh, they have various different pricing levels, unlimited products that you want, uh, various free themes, support, uh, migration. Uh, they also have a little bit of uh, commission there as well, staff account numbers. So you can see how their pricing model is built in. With if you need more staff, then uh, even starting out, was this a pretty good staff account number for six uh, on that basic plan? Uh, so it really just depends on you know what level your business is at. If you're just getting started, then the basic plan is probably all you need there, uh, which is pretty affordable when you compare it to, like I said, to other options available. Uh, Shop Plaza is pretty competitive. Uh, they have you know discount codes if you're trying to offer that. Really a lot of the features here, the biggest thing that scales up is the staff account numbers. Uh, if you're looking at the different pricing plans as well. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, uh, comparative to other competitors, they have that here. Uh, why Shop Plaza, why you might wanna go with Shop Plaza over others, then there you go. They also have built-in other features which we're gonna be diving into in a little bit here. So how to sign up, right? You go here, you can click the sign up button and then that'll take you over to this page here once you've gotten all signed up and we're gonna click create your store in just a second but I do wanna take a look at the app store real fast just if you guys are interested in what kind of apps you can connect with them. So if you're already familiar with CJ Dropshipping or eProlo for dropshipping, I've done reviews on the channel for those two um, platforms as well. Uh, and so Econ, or sorry, and so Shop Plaza connects with those dropshipping uh, platforms as well as SKU Owner as well. So if you're looking to get set up with dropshipping, then they have those options uh, that as their apps and integrations that you can connect with your online store with Shop Plaza. So you have a couple options there uh, as far as sourcing and selling dropshipping products. Uh, as you can see, they also have various different other marketing, like Facebook Pixel uh, or other uh, app options as well. They also have Aftership, so you can see, you can take a look through their app store uh, depending on what you may need for your uh, e-commerce business. Now, so taking a look here, going into Create Your Store, we're gonna click Create Your Store. Uh, let's just do, um, we're gonna do test, test store here uh, so oh the store name only allows letters numbers and hyphens okay I think that should be fine oh and hyphens so probably no spaces there uh, da, da, da. okay there we go perfect so there we go so as you can see we have the trial and and test store here we're going to go to go to store so that seems like more the admin page there so selling products we're just going to say uh, i'm just playing around with it for now uh, so it depends on what you if you are aren't selling any products you can select that uh, maybe you already have products that you're selling so if you're looking to sell in these places you can pre-install the sales channels uh, if you're looking to sell in those location or in those um, platforms uh, do you have an industry or cor corporate partner? Uh, let's just say no. Do you, do you want to sell products or dropshipping? So today we're going to say yes. So you, you don't have to. Uh, like I said, it's not limited. Uh, current average monthly revenue. Yeah, let's go 20 grand or more now. We're just going to say uh, just starting out. Uh, what kind of products? Let's say, hmm, let's do furniture. Interesting. Uh, and let's go... Florida. All right. So enter shop. So as you can see, this is what the back end looks like. So they have a quick little tutorial here getting started with Shop Plaza. Uh, so just pretty cool. So if you're looking to get set up, they have it pretty laid out for you. Uh, as you can see, we're on the free the, on the trial right here. So it's pretty simple to get set up. As you can see, they just have a nice little questionnaire. You can see they have the overview orders. Uh, products 
So you can have orders, you have your products that you can add. Really nice and sleek dashboard, I will say that. Very nice. Customers, uh, so you can do customer management. You can even do blog posts if you're looking to go the more SEO route or if you're trying to uh, you know, write, write some content. You got marketing, various marketing. This is more like the paid marketing if you're doing Google ads, uh, Facebook ads, TikTok, uh, various different, they also have pop-ups and sales and discounts, so other marketing tools um, that you can use, abandoned orders, emails. Uh, we're, we're, I'm just giving you a good overview here, of course. If you want to get set up, then you can go ahead and follow along that way. If you want to dig into more of the specifics here in the back end, you can get set up with their trial uh, to kind of play around with things. Uh, I'm just giving you a good overview so you can kind of get a feel for the platform. Uh, taking a look here at analytics, you also have live view, so you can take a look at sales trends. Uh, you also have product data, so you can see like where your sales are based on locations. Uh, you have page data details, so very in-depth reporting as far as product details and pages. Uh, like I said before, you have the app, so you can uh, go to their app store. And look for apps here so okay so they also have all these other apps so maybe that other page uh, I found didn't necessarily have everything listed out so you can see there's a lot more apps that they that they have within their app store clearly <laughs> um, yeah a lot of apps so if you're familiar with any of these then there you go uh, Wow order tipping that's interesting that is that's kind of cool online tipping that's very interesting almost like similar to a donate button it's a little tipping. That's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, so Hyperskew as well as another drop shipping platform. So sourcing and selling products. Yeah, so you have SKU owner. So if you're doing drop shipping, you've got SKU owner, uh, S2B, POD, print on demand. You've got high custom, SDS custom. So a few different like print on demand type uh, DIY type things. You got CJ drop shipping, eProlo, Hyperskew, huge print on demand or POD. Uh, tai Chu Data, Buttonify, Wang, Diang Tong, Cross Border, and Kakolo. Some of these I have not heard of, so excuse me if I am not properly pronouncing a couple of these. But um, half of these, most of these, you know, I've either talked about in reference on the channel before, or you've probably seen them or are familiar with them. But hey, it gives you options to try different things out. Uh, depending on what you're trying to do for sourcing and selling products, but they really have a lot of apps in here as well Okay, so yeah, they also have 17 track after ship. So for order tracking uh, customer service uh, store management So yeah, and they also have uh, ones that are like most recommended, but yeah Clavio as well so lots of lots of integrations and apps uh, depending on what you may need you also have online store settings. So here we have themes. Now themes is, of course, a lot of you guys are probably interested in, well, how does, the, how does this even look, right? So you've got Nova 2022 here, um, which is a good test store. So you can see how, how the overall look and feel of it is. Uh, you can see for yourself, really, as far as the theme selection and customization, you've got all these different themes as well. These are all free themes. Uh, so lots of free themes available clearly so you can click around and see you know exactly what you may be looking for uh, so right now we're on Nova uh, we're gonna click on view see if we can take a look here so this is just what the test store would look like uh, so you got products here uh, you've got shop now collections uh, you can see the various different essentials, uh, discounts. So you can customize all this depending on how you want it to look. You've got the cart. You got lo You can create an account, log in. Very sleek overall. Very smooth. Pretty quick. I mean, you saw how fast just just getting this little test store up took. I mean, not not very long at all. Uh, depending on what you're trying to do here. Now beyond that as well. So you also have product management. And you can edit the product description. So let's go ahead and just add like a quick little product. So you can also, uh, if you're migrating from other platforms, you can import your products as well uh, or export, uh, you know, import, export. You've got various options. If you need to import like a CSV of, of other products from another platform, you can do that as well. So we're going to go ahead and click create product. So you can see, you can charge taxes, uh, publish it, require shipping. Uh, they also have various different 
uh, SEO optimization for adding tags, uh, collection, vendor IDs, as well as the title and subtitles. So yeah, so you can see edit website SEO. So you can see the title description and what that'll look like as well, which is nice to be able to quickly edit that right here in the dashboard. Uh, they also have various different um, product description, you know, creating collections, uh, different media, if you want to add that there, pretty much everything that you need to add your products. And you can also build out collections. So if you're trying to organize your products and group them by category, say if we stick to the furniture example, say you want to sell armchairs, you want to sell couches, or you want to sell, um, I don't know, arm armoires, or uh, what's another what's another furniture item? Desks. Sure, or chairs, office ta uh, tables, or, or bookshelves, you know? You can kind of set them based on your categories, what types of products you're selling in your business, and you can manage things that way as well. So really a lot of flexibility here. Uh, you can also sync reviews. So if you're going to have reviews, uh, you can have product reviews. So as you can see, you can display product reviews to build trust with customers. Uh, depending on how you want things to look, you know, that's also nice that you can add in uh, product reviews. You can import reviews as well if you're interested in doing that with your dropshipping store. You can also import reviews so you can sync those. Uh, and or if you just have reviews from if you're doing a migration to this new e-commerce platform, you can also import your current customer reviews into um, into shop plaza. So you don't have to worry about that. The whole migration process is pretty simple. Uh, if you're importing CSVs and importing all that data that you need for your business. So yeah, really everything that you may need from shipping and fulfillment, the reviews to product descriptions, uh, product crawling and, and product management, sourcing and selling the drop shipping apps I mentioned as well different themes, uh, different store settings, whether it be store info and payment options. Uh, so you can see here, you also have settings and payments. So you can see here, they also offer PayPal, Klarna, credit card, alternative other payment methods uh, for local. Uh, you also have uh, testing gateway. So that's good if you're doing testing. Uh, cash on delivery. Uh, you have other payment methods, third party payment providers. So they really also have a lot of payment uh payment processing options as well, more so than, you know, I've seen on others. Like I would say Shop Plaza is up there as far as the payment processing options and pretty simple. All you gotta do is like flick the little switch. Looks like a little iPhone toggle. So yeah, definitely pretty solid here. Lots of different options and you can edit them and get set up there as well if you're uh, to accept payments for products. So don't have to worry about that either. Uh, notifications, store, staff um, management. But yeah, overall, I would say Shop Plaza, pretty, pretty solid. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm the one visitor. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. The little conversion rate at funnel. So, yeah, if you're interested in getting set up with Shop Plaza, like I said, first link down in the description box below, you can go ahead and get set up with a seven day trial and 15% off your first month. Once again, thank you to Shop Plaza for sponsoring today's video. Uh, and so, full disclosure there, I am an affiliate. So, that is an affiliate link. And thank you once again, Shop Plaza, for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.